What's up, Class Fit Sugar? My name's Marnie Alton. I am the founder of Embody, and today we're gonna do a 30-minute bar fusion cardio workout. Are you guys ready to roll? Oh, I'm so excited so for today. Let's do it! <laughs> we're gonna start with a little shake. Shaking off the day, shaking off any tension, any stress, so that we can start as our best selves. There's no place that I'd rather be than on the mat, and if this bounce right away is too much for you, you can take a peek at Lilani. She's gonna be showing you some modifications. That'll be less bouncy, less impact. Me and Poopy over here, we gonna jump a bit. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Arms back and forward for eight, two, three. Just opening your heart and your chest, since this is cardio. Now we'll just run. So turn your feet parallel. And literally you're creating vibration from your feet up. Oh, I Keep love your this. back flat. Yeah. Try to turn your feet forward. And really feel free in your arms. Your arms are elegant. Your feet are fiery. Eight counts. Two, three, four, five. Speed it up. Woo. Seven, stand tall. Just let your head roll around. So releasing your neck and your shoulders. Check your jaw. That's somewhere that we collect tension unknowingly a lot of times. Circle the other way if you haven't started. Bring your arm forward four times. Loosening up your shoulder. Bring it back four times. Other arms. We always want to warm up your body so that we have access to all of those smaller muscles, especially in bar circle round. And we find the power in spirals. So things aren't just forward and back. Circle the other way. They're all kind of rainbows. I love circle that. Circle five, six, seven. Bring your feet a little closer. Roll to the top of your toes, holding there for just a moment to bring blood flow across your metatarsals. Roll back down. Other side, just holding, feeling the floor beneath your feet. Bring your feet back down. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, push your hip bones back and drive forward. Your first forward fold, bringing some much needed circulation to your face. Shake and nod to your brain. Release tension in your lips. Bend your knees, round back up, one of four. Two arms overhead to rolling hangovers. You drop down and pull your elbows back. So we drop, bend your knees, so it's two little bounces. And then one chest opener skyward. You can adjust how wide your feet are. Option to add a little jump. Ooh, come on. Pull back four times. Poofy, don't make me jump by myself. I got one. you, right? <laughs> Love that. You can always stay flat-footed, let's remember. Impact is not better. Bring your arms out to second. Touch your heels in first position. Then from here, bend your knees, straighten. Now this is continuing to warm up the muscles around your knees so we protect them as you move into cardio. It's also stretching your calves. Four more. We're at one. You've got Leilani, she's showing you if you have sensitive shoulders. Just pulse down eight. Two, keep your heels on the ground, that's the challenge. Five, six, elongating through your low body. Lift your heels, here's some balance. Lower down and then lift yourself back up. Let's try that one more time. Lower down, releve, plie. Keep your heart high, let yourself wiggle a little bit, it's okay. Wiggles just mean you're learning. Step out to wide second, press your hands back and pulse, pulse. Lift your heel up for four, one. Two, three, other side, four, one, two, three, four. Now you can continue alternating, lifting one heel then the other, which is once again keeping your foot nice and warm and strong, or heels down, out and in, out and in. Trying to land really low in that plie, and then sharply crossing, 16, two, three. Work to keep your chest high, and really swing your arms back, eight more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just land pulse. Option come to releve to reclaim that balance. Using more of your core strength. Last eight, two. Can you get a little lower? Five, six, seven. Lower your heels with control. Turn your knees forward to parallel. Stick your tailbone back. Now from here, with your sit bones, Reach your chest up, down. So your chest stays up, sit bones pushed back, going down. 
up. Now, you can stay no impact here, driving into your heels and really getting that strength of lift from your heels to your glutes or jump four times. We're two, three. Let's dance one leg back, other leg two times here. Repeat. This is cute. Ah, two yeah, times here. This. Let's do it again because it's just so fun. Two times. One and the other. Step to the side, one. Double here. Same pattern. And add your arms. Repeat. One and the other. Now punch forward and side. For five, six, seven, change sides. We're gonna repeat that. So you just had to learn it the first time. Five, six, straight jacks. And we start at the top. Now side jacks can also be done with no bounce, just like that. Eight more. Word four. This is a love letter to your heart. Let's go down, up. Okay, you can dance a little more with your arms or stabilizing your shoulders or jump, one to four. Leave it your hips up. Three, let's do that move. One, one, two here. Repeat. One more time. Tap, so you're opening your hips here too, which is fun. Feels good too. Right, yeah. step, side, double. Keep your shoulders soft. There's no doing this right. The movement takes care of itself. Just find the joy in it. Those punches, forward and side. We'll change in, five, six, seven. Other side. Gonna change in five. Straight jacks. Eight more. We're gonna do it all one more time. Three times, three chances. Down, up. Breathe in and out. Try to put your weight behind you. Option jump four times. One, two, three. Great breath. One, double here. Your hips, they move like your hips. Again. We got this. Let's Double. Go. Come on, heart. Simple can be super powerful, yeah? Side step. Double. A little dance break. Up. A little dance yeah. break. Let's do that one more time. Side, side, double. Side, side, double. To those punches. Forward and side. It feels so powerful doing these punches. I love it. You yeah. my mind. I was thinking the same thing. Let's change. Catching that beat. Because that's what's so fun about working with dance. Is letting the beat move you. Five, six, seven. Straight jacks. Oh, yeah. Now, your body is stretching. It's sculpting. And hopefully by now, it's swimming. Eight more. So the stretch is how wide. Burn. Yeah. Woo. Six. Land wide. Take up some space. Bend one knee. Down and up. So we build with this work. So you're starting with just a big bend. A big plie. That's just the word bend in French, basically. Down. Now here's some stabilizing arms. So again, adding on, yeah? And you discover where you want to land. Here's new arms. Oh, I like those. Fun, right? Yeah. Option at a side lift of your leg. And then stand up. So you're alternating here and up. Now once your brain understands what you're doing, you start feeling like, how are you doing it? Lift, so maybe a little bit lower without any roundness in your back. We're gonna add on right here, down step. Down, lift. Now, if that took you out of your zone, go back in your zone and just do that lengthened extension without the step. Four more. Let gravity work with you. So go a little lower. That's two. 
three, four, four. Land, now hold. Let the fire build in this leg. Bring your elbows up, leg in and out. Now as your leg goes out, extend your arms. Ooh, we flying now. Yes. <laughs> Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bend, and then step in. So this is where you can stay. Again, if that lesser impact feels great for your body today. Got a little more bounce. Oh, come on. What? Don't forget to use those feet, Poofy. Oh, yeah. Four right more. Here. We're at two. That's three. And stand up tall. Open heart. Down and up. Other side. Now, the details matter. It's the little things. Why do they call them the little things when they're everything? <laughs> Down. So the parallel feet, that stretched back, the bending of your knees instead of dropping your chest, then your hands either pushing into your legs to maintain that, or prayer, opening, or as per request, <laughs> arms up and up. Adjust the side extension, and then come to standing again. So we give ourselves permission to build. And even if this feels really accessible to you, there's somewhere that you can discover something new to feel. That's what's so cool about life, right? Always something new to feel. It's at that step, guys. So right here, the next one. Here's the step. And in. So notice, the leg that's not dancing is super straight. It's stable. So take a sec, once you've got the rhythm of your dancing leg, and make sure this straight leg is really gripping the muscles around the knee to maintain that. Four more. Play around with your feet. So here, point your toe, and then just tap it too. Energy. <laughs> we got four. Hold. Fire. Ready for fire? Let's do it. Hands up. Shoulders down. Leg in. Out and in. Now, as your leg goes out, arms out. Can you bend your front knee more? Lay a more. Eight. Two. We're at four. That stance leg is burning, bro. Oh, yeah. Back to those steps. Now, we did this once before. That's on purpose, because you have a point of reference now. If you have some sense memory. Does it feel good? Yes. And you can kind of like lean into it a little more playfully. Do you want to play with that jump? We're going to be mostly standing today. That way we're going to keep really activated in your metabolic lifters, the power muscles in your low body. Four more. We're at two. That's three. Hold. Just press side to side. Ooh, side. This feels great. You're flowing. You're like water. Again, hands can go to prayer. If you've been carrying a lot in your shoulders, maybe hands back like you're speed skating. If you need a little more freedom, maybe arms twist. Last 16. I love all the options, Marnie. You do? Yes. Well, that makes so me great. happy. Eight more. Every day's a little different for all of us. Four. We're at six. Hold. Now turn your feet out again, and use your legs to lift your upper body. Hold there, spread your toes wide. Bend your knees a little more. We're gonna check you're in the correct position. So lift one heel up, and if your ankle is still under your knee, that's a great width. If you're too wide and you lift up, it's gonna put strain on your inner hip. So pull it back in. Then roll your heel back to the floor. Pulse, pulse, hold. And on the hold, exhale, and get all that stale air out of your low lungs, right there. Down. Anything you push down, we can shove stuff in the closet, but the doors eventually burst open. Oh yeah. And so we wanna do some string cleaning. Down, down, hold. No hold, just arms back and legs down. Again, after the cardio series, what this does is it changes the habit. So, after challenge, we 
We often go to comfort or protection, which is like a hunch, yeah? And that closes our energy center. And so to get energy, we just gotta open it up, lift one heel up, four counts, one, two, other heel for four. Don't let your arms stop moving. Alternate, one heel then the other. Well, Lonnie, if it feels better, you can stay flat-footed. Eight more counts, one, two, you're at four, six, one leg back, center, other leg back. Now we're still in turnout. You wanna check that at that center, you really land center stage. And up, option, a little lean. Ooh, it's giving performance, I love that. <laughs> oh. Get some air. And up, four more, one, Again, if arms overhead is too much for your shoulders, hands in prayer are great. Land here, bring your knee up, up, up. Eight more. That reach is just as important as the crunch. Five, six, seven, back to that dance. One more. Land to the other side, leg up. Up. Eight more, just like this. One, two. Pushing in your big toe to anchor through your inner thigh. Back to that really beautiful traditional second position. You know, through a combo now. Start by pulling your abdominals in. Close your ribs a little. That'll activate you, yeah, the muscles around the thoracic spine, and keep your posture strong. Eight more. Four. Now let's mark the combo for a moment. So we'll do two pulses down with your arms out in second. Stay in this so we're not losing the energy. Turn to the side, arms up with your knees bent. We'll pull one knee up, bring it back, pull the knee up, bring it back, rotate, other side. Two pulses, we'll catch the music in a moment. Just giving you a chance to find the position. That's it, exactly, Poofy, up, up, down. We're gonna start in five, six, two pulses in second to start here. Down for two, turn. Turn for two. Knee up, knee up. Pulse, other side. Turn, knee up. Now, once you got it, Poofy's jumping, you can jump. Arms to fifth or like Lilani prayer. Catch some air. This should feel kind of like recess. Yeah. Like when you were allowed to play, not you had to, you know what I mean? Down. Down. Knee up. Down lower. Stay low. Fireworks. One more each side, then a change. Knee up. And up. Down center to the side. Poofy, you're killing it. Seriously, I can feel that sweat coming. <laughs> Down. Now turn to the side and pause. Lift your chest. Just pause here, sweet Lilani. Then from there, pulse. Now as you pulse, Woo, bring the fire. tuck your tailbone under. You want to get that stretch. Eight more. Two. Three. Lilani, you can't see me, so I'm going to guide you through verbally, okay? Lower your back heel and hinge forward. Pushing that stretch, activating a dynamic stretch. Pull that back knee up, up, up. Here's an option, hands to the floor. A little more bend. Another option, your opposite hand comes around and taps, tap. So you get that stretch and the crunch. 16, three, you're at five. Try to keep your bent knee still. Four more. Hold. Rotate back through center. Lift up. Just pulse. Pulse to reclaim the length. Eight more. Into the other side. Here, five. Rotate. Arms up. Keep pulsing. The weight is now really pressed into your front heel. Eight more, one. Keep your chest high and your abs in. 
Maintain that elegant extension. Now reach your chest forward, push your heel back, bend your front knee, say, thank you for holding me. Leg up, up. So we want to acknowledge that our body might be a little stronger than we sometimes give it credit for. So we come to the mat and explore. Option down to the ground. Option opposite hand, tap, tap. 16 more, two, three, four. You're at six. Enjoy that, this is feeling alive. Then your muscles breaking down and rebuilding stronger. Back center, lift up one more time. Back to those beautiful pulses. Now bring your arms up. So this is a flush. Now deepening the bend of your knees will actually stretch in through your inner thighs. Four more like that. One. Try to keep your tailbone tucked under so your booty doesn't get left behind. Hold. So go around for eight. A little spirals. Let's come back to them. Six. Other side, circle other way. Giving bird left. Yes. Uh -huh, eight. <laughs> Two. Four, five. Now here's the other's choice before we hit the floor. You can pulse. Hands out. Hands prayer. You can releve. Hands out or hands prayer. You can lower your heels and you can go crisscross. Last four, go, set to me. Hey. One, two. Now this is endurance. Five. Endure dance. <laughs> Hello. Second set. If this is the hardest thing you do all day, guess what else you're gonna get to do? It's gonna be easy from here, last 16. You're five. Final eight. You didn't come this far. You only come this far. Yeah, Four more. Me. Six. Slam low, hold. Take a breath. Then from there, rotate your feet. Lengthen. Flatten your back. If you're feeling lightheaded at all, simply bring your chest higher so your head stays above your heart. And then heel toe your feet together and walk yourself down into a plank posture. Pausing in plank, come to your knees. I'm just gonna turn the other way for you guys, just so you see. So, down on your knees. Keep your tailbone again, tucked under. And what I like to say is, no booties left behind, yeah? Yes. Bring them with us <laughs> for five, six. We go down to the floor, down, up, then to child's pose, back, down, up, back, forward, down, up. See what this is doing is all of the blood that we actively started getting to pulp, pulse rather through your low body, down, up, is now being directed back to your heart through your arms. Love that. You have four more. Keep it circulating. Yes, ma'am. That's how we really reduce inflammation. The body knows how to heal itself. We just have to keep it moving in balance. And dance is really great for that. Come to a plank posture and hold there. Spread your fingers wide. Then from there, bring one knee up, stretch it back. One knee up, stretch it long. Four more, up. Now you push the floor away with the ends of your fingers. Two more. One more. So you're rotating through the hip, parallel. Little pulses up, eight, two. Concentrating on that beautiful balletic extension of your toe, other side. Knee up and back. If you need to take a moment to reset through your arms, reset and then return with us, four more. And the next time you come to this video, maybe you can notice progression. Like, maybe next time you do one more than you did this time. Exactly, it's all about the little ones. Ooh, yes, yes ma'am. Leg up, eight, one, two. Squared hips is the key here, five. We all know these. 
knee up. So great to flush. Last four sets of eight. Three. Last three sets of eight. So we've done two four set series today. Last 16. Those are your rocky moments. Last eight. Five, six, seven. Come to your knees. Round back. Roll all the way up. And then step your foot forward. Hi, guys. Hi. We're going to do an active stretch. It's going to keep you in sculpt. Slowly bring your heart rate back down. Step one foot forward and align. Lift up in your chest. Then from here, pull your back toe under. And notice here, we primed your legs for this support system. Bring your arms up, pull them back down. Just like we did at the start of class, coming full circle. Hold for four, hold two. Notice the strength and stillness. Bring your hands back down. One hand comes up, the hand closest to your leg. So we're gonna face the back of the room. Circle your hand, rather, either direction to release your wrist, stretch higher, and then bring your hand back down. Lower your knee and straighten back. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Now, you can go anywhere for this. So flex your foot left. Feel any good, beautiful. Resquare your hips. Hands gonna be to the ground, to your foot, or if you want to explore. Now, Ooh. just acknowledging where your body is. This is my job, so my body goes here. Your body will speak to you. We need to just hold for one more breath where your active stretch is. That's where your development is. Come back up and it's equal. And then back behind you, curl your toes under, downward dog. Land in your dog for a moment. Push your heels to the ground and wrap your elbows in. Push your heart back. And then inhale that same leg that you were just stepping on. Up, breathe in. Bring it to your elbow as we did in the plank series. This time, rotate it into a pigeon. So your ankle pulls up. And once again, looking for the touch points of development rather than shapes that we see and try to emulate. So what I mean by that is like playing with this hip going down and how flat your back can be and keeping this foot nice and flexed. Now that means coming in, that's great. If that means keeping this back knee bent a little today, great. Pausing here. And we recognize that part of cardio work is this stretching. It's bringing the blood back to the heart in a balanced way. So the oxygen has time to get there to heal it. It's not just the bouncing. That gets it started. This gets it done. And then from there, right leg back. We'll do the other side, other foot forward. So we continue to use these beautiful muscles. And then we stretch and make pathways for the blood. And we got pumping and elbows pull down. Hold here. Push up through your back heel so both legs are participating. One of four. We're at two. Again, cardio, heart. And then forward. Hand up. Circle one way. Circle the other way. Big stretch. And then come back down. Lower your knee. Find your extension. Heart expands. Hands can go to the earth. They can cross over and increase the dorsal flexion. They can also support you as you play around for your version of your split. And then bring your hands under your shoulders, glide back, bring your leg around behind you, curl your toes under to downward dog. Really lift with your sits bones, that leg up to the other side from the first, pulling forward into the plank we already found, and then to pigeon and flex. Inhale, heart up. Bring the breath into your heart. Down to the earth and let your head rest completely and fully. One more long breath in. One more long breath out. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Using the strength of your arms, curl your back toe under. Step through plank. Come to your knees. And then all the way down to your sits bones. Wide straddle opening up in both our spaces of power, but also our spaces of vulnerability. One arm up and over. Take a big, long, deep breath, and we recognize the strength of showing up heart first. 
big breath in and expand and exhale tall cross your legs keep your shoulders soft and heel your arms up connecting both sides of your body back into balance and rest your hands on your heart feel it in your chest and today's class was brought to you by the letter C. As you go through the rest of your day, lead with courage, with curiosity, with compassion, both for others and for yourself. Take one more big breath, unveiling that beautiful, strong heart of yours. Reach, bring your hands down to the earth. Know that she'll catch you when you fall. Open your eyes to the sun, be in the light. Thank you guys so much for working out with us today. Remember that cardio work is heart work and that can be done in a whole bunch of different ways. So I hope that you continue to heal your beautiful heart today and come back to this class whenever you need a little extra energy. My name is Marnie Alton. This is Poofy and Leilani. They worked out with us today. Please feel free to comment below with any questions. And we can't wait to see you again on Pop Sugar Fitness. <laughs>